So let's solve this question we've got in the middle of the screen here. We have 6 divided by 2 times 3 and we divide all of this stuff by 2. It seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy. However, many people are going to get this problem incorrect. So if you could do this without a calculator, just pause this video and write your answer down into the comment section. Right here we have four options, option A, option B, option C and option, option D. So we have 0 0.5, we have 1, we have 4.5 and we have 18. So this is a great test for you to check your basic math skills to check your algebra skills so you can easily pause the video and write your option down write your answer down write your solution down into the comment section so which one is correct four options and here is our question a lot of students might be saying hey mister this is like the easiest question i ever seen i can easily solve it in a few seconds but in the same way a lot of students make this common mistake so right now i'm going to show you the most common Solutions. A lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, this is a correct, a correct solution. So I'm going to show you the first most common solution. So right here we have one, and I'm going to show the first solution. A lot of students might be saying, okay, right here we have two times three equal to equal to six, obviously. So we have as a result, so this is our equal sign from here. This is like our first solution. So we have six divided by right here multiplication first. So a lot of students might be saying like that, okay, we have two times three equal to six. So we have six divided by six. We divide all of this stuff by 2, and as a result, we have 6 divided by 6 equal to uh, 1, yeah, and we have 1 divided by 2, and in terms of like, this is in terms of like fraction, but in terms of like mm, decimal value, we can easily write it as one, 0 0.5, yeah, so we have 0. 0 0.5. And we have this option. This is our option A. So a lot of students might be saying, okay, Mr. This is a correct answer. I saw this question absolutely correct. But in the same way, I'm going to show you the second way. A lot of students say that the second way is also a correct. So they say, okay, we're not going to, we're not going to uh, multiply first. Let's, for example, divide at first. So we have 6 divided by 2 equal to 3. So let's uh, write it as 3 times right here we have this 3 on the on the right side so we have 3 times 3 divided by divided by 2 and as a result right here we can easily say that this is equal to 9 over 2 which is equal to 4.5 we have this option this is option c so this is also great and there's like the third the third part of students and they say okay I'm not saying that this is a correct or not correct. A lot of students say that um, we, maybe we can cancel this too, right here and right here. We can easily do this, yeah? And they say, okay, 6 times 3, and we say that correct answer is 18. We have this, this option D. As you can see, a lot of students solve this question in their own way. A lot of students, like, create their own approach. They solve this question absolutely randomly, absolutely chaotically, because just agree with me, when we say correct answer is 0 0.5, 4.5, and 18, this is really weird, because in terms of math, we can easily say that one and only one correct answer should be right here. We can say that we have three correct answers. It's a really weird thing. So a lot of students solve this question like that, maybe 25%. A lot of students solve this question like that, like maybe another 25%, and another, like, 20 25 persons solve this question like that. Maybe some half students say that correct answer is B, and it turns into a big argument because a lot of students solve this question on their own. A lot of students forget about the main thing, order of operation. So what is the correct order to perform this mathematical operator? Because right here we have we have division, we have uh, multiplication, we have a uh, fraction bar, so it turns into a big argument, and right now we need to know what is the correct order to perform mathematical operation, because the main thing, the main rule, just try to be unambiguous about what we're trying to present. And this is very important uh, rule right now, and right now I'm going to show you about um, the thing which is called order of operation, because right here we solve this question absolutely randomly. This is a randomly method, this is randomly method, this is randomly method, but we need to know what is a one and only one correct correct solution so right now let's go back to our question we can easily see this question uh, right here and right now i'm going to show you about i'm going to explain you about the thing which is called order of operation so here we have our next part order of operation in terms of math this order of operation uh, a lot of people call this as pemdas order of operation but it depending of course on what country you're in because there's the thing which is called which is called bot mass, which is also like a correct order of operation, but it's just depending on what country you're in, because this is absolutely the same thing, so we can easily uh, put right here equal sign, because we have brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition, and and subtraction, right? So this is a, a, correct, a correct thing. I'm talking about basic math order of operation. I'm not talking about special cases like PEMDAS does within place of multiplication. I'm talking about only PEM does, bot mass of the most common rule of, uh, or the most common order of operation. 
information in the world. So what does it mean, PEMDAS? Like, yeah, this is like a checklist. So each of these letters stands for something. So for example, in this case, letter P stands for parentheses. Yeah, we're talking about parentheses. We're talking about these squiggly brackets. We're talking about these type of brackets. And sometimes uh, we're talking about group and symbol. So sometimes the fraction bar is also a group and symbol. Like we group it, we say that we divide numerator by denominator. All right, so this is extremely important, extremely important part. The next thing is exponents. Uh, and in terms of math, this is like basic powers. Don't be scared about this E because a lot of students don't, under, don't understand don't understand why uh, E stands for powers because the first letter is uh, P, not not E. But it, in terms of like um, E exponents, uh, stands for stands for powers. And we are talking about basic thing, which is like for example, two to the power five. We need to raise this. We have to raise this two to the power five or three to the power one hundred. So we are talking about these powers. Yeah, after parentheses, after group and symbols we have to raise uh, each of these variables constant doesn't matter i don't know exactly yeah we need to raise this to this power the next thing is multiplication and division part and this is extremely important part because in our question we have this we have division and multiplication right but what is the correct order because a lot of students might be saying okay multiplication first so we need to multiply it first and other part of students say okay division and multiplication have the same priority and it turns into a big argument but in this part and my nose is very clear for you because right here we need to perform it from left from left to right so just keep in mind that this is one common group okay multiplication and division this is one common group and we need to perform it from left to right okay so from left from left to right for example when we have well, for example, multiplication and division mixture, like uh, we have a lot of multiplication and division sign. So we need to perform it from left to right. And what I mean right now, we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. And whenever we have a mixture with multiplication and division part, we need to perform it first multiplication. All right. And whenever we have like a mixture of division first, then multiplication, well, the first sign from left to right will be will be this division okay so just try to understand this extremely important uh, extremely important part so for example i continue this on the right side because i don't have enough space right here for example when we have two times two divided by three what do we need to do at first of course we need to multiply it first because multiplication is the first sign from left to right but in the same way when we have for example two divided by three and times uh two divided by three and times two for example the first sign is is division so as you can see multiplication and division have the same priority and we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right it can be division multiplication it can be like uh, doesn't matter we are talking about a mixture of multiplication and division but only multiplication and division we're not talking about exponents parentheses this part when we have a mixture like a long expression like 2 divided by 3 times 4 uh, times 5 divided by 6 so a lot of uh, things with a lot of um, uh, multiplication and division signs so we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right right here division so let's start with this division the next thing will be multiplication and as you can see step by step we will solve this expression so whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division we need to perform it in order in a strict order from from left to right okay okay and the last step is addition and subtraction so this is a very basic one a uh, stands for addition s stands for subtraction and this is a very basic one this is like the easiest one in this case we don't have we don't need order of operation because we can easily skip this part we can easily solve parentheses exponent multiplication division and in conclusion like addition subtraction is just very basic very easy for us okay so we really hope you understand this quick introduction about this PEMDAS order of operation which is like the most popular order of operation in the world like of course in depending on what country you in but uh, basically in 90 percent people use pemdas order of operation of course a lot of people use bodmas but this is absolutely the same thing so we can't compare this because this is absolutely the same thing right now according to this pemdas order of operation let's try to solve our question as i told before we can easily solve this question in three ways we can easily say that the correct answer is like uh, i don't remember like uh, 4.5 18 we have 0 0.5 i guess yes yeah? so right now let's try to solve this question correctly so how can we solve this question correctly whenever we have like a, a little bit complicated question to be honest when we have like a fraction bar division multiplication addition subtraction parentheses every time we need to write this pemdas checklist so just write this pemdas checklist okay pemdas checklist on the on the left side all right and first of all we need to scan what do we have right here so first of all we go from the top to the bottom right here as you can see in terms of like priority we go from from left side to right side 
but we are talking about like horizontal orientation right now we're talking about vertical so we're talking about from the top to the bottom and right now how can we solve this question according to pemdas first of all we need to scan from the top to the bottom what elements do we have in our question first of all let's scan about parentheses okay we're talking about grouping symbols and a lot of students confused about this part because obviously we don't have like we don't have parentheses we don't have any of those we don't have parentheses we don't have like these parentheses let me change my pen real quick uh, we, are, we don't have like uh, these parentheses right here yeah we don't have uh, these parentheses these type of brackets we don't have it yeah we don't have these type of brackets but in the beginning of the video i mentioned that fraction bar can be also a group in a symbol so when we are talking about mm, when we're talking about group and symbol right here when we're talking about fraction bar for example we have four divided by three it means that we divide our numerator by the denominator okay we're talking about the thing which we are talking about that we group in our numerator and we divide all of the stuff by our by our denominator right and uh, to be honest when we have six divided by three divided by two plus three this is absolutely the same thing we divide our whole numerator like numerator we divide by the whole denominator all right so this is extremely important thing because a lot of students are confused about it they say okay we don't have parentheses so in our, in our minds let's just skip this parentheses part but we can do like that if we could just need to keep in mind that we have a fraction bar so this like group and symbol so of course we don't have parentheses but in, in terms of like parentheses we have a group and symbol we have a fraction bar so it means that we divide our numerator so it means that after first step we divide our six divided by two or oh, let's uh, i want to mention this right here so we divide our whole numerator whole numerator by the whole denominator all right and uh, of course we don't have parentheses but just keep in mind that we need to mention this really important really important step okay let's go to the next step the next step is exponent let's scan where do we have where do we have exponents right here let's scan what do we have right here we don't have any exponents like squares cubes like force power we don't have any of those so we can easily we can easily skip this part we don't have we don't have exponents okay the next step is multiplication and division part and to be honest this is exactly our case we can easily say that we don't have addition and subtraction we can easily cancel this so among these steps we have only parentheses but not parentheses as it looks like right here like this bracket this bracket we have a group and symbol so we group numerator and we divide it by denominator so to be honest we need to s simplify our expression in our numerator yeah we have six divided by two times three and we need to simplify our expression but how can we simplify it let's look closely at our multiplication and division group in terms of like multiplication division group and whenever we have a mixture of multiplication division as i told before we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right and to be honest right here we have two signs so the first sign we have this division and the second sign is this multiplication and what is the first sign from left to right to be honest the first sign from left to right is this division so the first step is to divide six divided by two so as a result so uh, obviously we have multiplication part we have division part and right now let's let's solve it so let's do this right now so we have six divided by two divided by two times three and all over by by two as i told before 6 divided by 2 is our first step because we have the first sign division not multiplication we can't jump like from right to left we can easily we need to solve it from from left to right in a strict uh, order from left from left to right so as a result 6 divided by 2 equal to 3 and we still have this 3 so 3 times 3 divided by 2 and just keep in mind that we of course we don't have parentheses right here yeah but just keep in mind that in terms of like this uh fraction bar we need to keep in mind that this is like a group and symbol okay numerator is a group and symbol we divide the whole numerator by the whole uh, by the whole denominator okay and to be honest this is very basic right now because three times three equal to so we have nine and divided by two this is equal to 4.5 all right so this is looks like a correct answer because we solved it according to a correct answer and the main rule is just try to be unambiguous about what we're trying to present what do we have right here if we look closely yeah right now let's go to our in our beginning just keep in mind that correct answer is 4.5 but let's go back to our to our question right so as i told before we had a lot of a lot of answers we can easily say the correct answer is a b c or d but what do we have right here we have a group in symbols real quick so let's just solve this question 
questions real quick. First, group and symbols right here, and this group and symbol. This is our numerator, uh, this is our denominator, sorry, yeah. This is our denominator, this is our numerator. We divide the denominator by the whole, whole denominator. In numerator, we have a mixture of multiplication and division. This is like a quick explanation to this question. The first step is this division, the second step is this, uh, is this multiplication. And here's our question, yeah. We had this option, this is option, I guess, uh, we solve it, and I guess the correct answer is is C, right? This is a correct, a correct answer. And I'm going to show you a, a wrong solution and why this is absolutely wrong solution. Because a lot of students want to uh, cancel these two, like maybe 10%. And this is really great that only 10% cancel these two because this is very bad thing in terms of math. You can't cancel these two because a lot of students say, okay, we have multiplication division, we have the same thing on a numerator and denominator, and we can easily cancel these two. And as a result, we have six divided by three equal to equal to 18. So a lot of students might be saying. 18 is a correct answer, but just forget, just just don't solve this question like that because we can't cancel division by two. And right here we have, we have this is a very bad thing. The second case, as I told before, a lot of students want to multiply this two times three, but why we, we jump from, like from from right uh, from left to right? So the first sign from left to right is this division, and we don't have implicit multiplication. We don't have even like like that. Of course, when we have multiplication right here, we can easily uh, multiply two times three. And of course, yeah, that's that's. It. Yeah, we have two times three equal to six, so six times six divided by six equal to one, and we have this two. So as a result, then correct answer will be will be zero point five. So of course, I'm, I just want you uh, to be an ambiguous about what we're trying to present right here. This question looks like that. We wanted to divide our we wanted to divide our numerator by the whole denominator. Okay, so we simplifying our expression in our numerator and we divide it by the denominator. So just try to solve this question absolutely, absolutely correct. And just try to be an ambiguous about your your solution. Because when you say, okay, I want to cancel this, you can solve it like that. You can't do this because this is a very big mistake in terms of math. And the second way a lot of students say, okay, multiplication right here, let's multiply. I say, okay, you can do this, but with parentheses, with parentheses, sure, you can do this. We have six divided by six equal to one and one divided by two equal to 0 0.5. All right, so I really hope you understand each of these cases. I really hope you understand why each of these cases is absolutely incorrect. So right now, let's look closely about these cases. As I told before, we had we had three cases. This one uh, is, is absolutely correct. This is absolutely correct case. Uh, this one, yeah, we were really happy about this case. Uh, that we solve it. Yeah, this is absolutely the correct case. This is absolutely wrong. Just forget about it. We can't cancel this too. And the second way, uh, just forget about it. We don't have parentheses right here. With parentheses, 0.5 is a correct answer, but we don't have it. So just forget about these cases. So it was my explanation about this question. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you learned something new. Right now, real quick, let's look at this uh, solution. Yeah, we had we had it right here. So I really hope you you understand this part. I really hope you understand it why we use PEMDAS order of operation. And finally, we can easily say that correct answer is 4.5. So you can be proud of yourself that you solved this question absolutely correct. When you when you say that correct answer is 0 0.5, well, you need to you need to review your basic math because because this is extremely important, important topic. And when you say like a correct answer is 18, this is the worst mistake. Uh, in in your life, I guess, because this is where we think when we cancel this, when we cancel this too. So this is extremely like huge mistake. This 18. When we say that correct answer is is 18. What about one? I'm not sure that one can be an answer right here because the correct answer is 4.5. So we really hope you understand it. I really hope you learn something new. And uh, don't feel bad if you got this wrong. It happens sometimes that you need to review something. You need to make a research. You need to read something, and it's also also really great. So our answer is 4.5 to this question. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you learn something new. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Thank you for your time. Wish you all the best in your life and see you in the next videos.